continue our conversation this afternoon. Again, all of our fights going down Saturday, December 12th, beginning at 4 p.m. Pacific on ESPN+. Edgar Berlanga taking on Ulysses Sierra. Ulysses is with me right now. Um, first of all, your shoe game is on point, bro. Uh, I'm very excited. I know Andre Ward would be very proud of those shoes as well. And speaking of Andre Ward, uh, you've had some incredible opportunities uh, with sparring. Canelo Alvarez, Sergey Kovalev, and as I mentioned, Andre Ward. How have those guys helped you in your career? Uh, I just learned a lot of, a lot of tools of the trade, like uh, just our hard work and dedication that they put into the camp. And things like that, and how serious they take things. And uh, I mean, I took a little bit from every camp, and uh, it's helped made me who I am today. So, so you're going in against uh, Berlanga, and you know everybody's talking about his first round knockouts, 15 in a row. And uh, what is it about him that dominates these these fighters like that that you see in the tape that you've been able to watch? Everyone he fights is fights him at 160, and they're coming up to fight him. So he's fighting smaller people is what he's doing. It's good matchmaking on top ranks part. All right, we'll tip our cap to the, the top rank matchmakers. Uh, what do you got to do to get past the first round, let alone uh, a victory? It's got to be myself and have fun. Pop my jab, take advantage of the openings when they present themselves, and just be myself and have fun, really, at the end of the day. It's been an interesting journey watching. Obviously, you just came off of a, a, a close decision. Uh, we've been watching Edgar now. Uh, it's going to be fireworks in there every time you get in the ring, every time he gets in the ring. What can we expect uh, when we tune in to watch this fight that's going to make it different for you, also different for him? If they picked me because of my last fight, that's where they messed up. I mean, I had a lot of issues going into my last fight. And um, I'm 100 times better today. I'm way more healthy. My, my camp was way better. So you guys are just going to see a whole different me. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys. Preparation is the key. We hear that a lot. What was camp like knowing that you were facing Berlanga in, in, on Saturday night? Um, I was in camp with Jamel Charlo for his last camp in o October. And then after that, I was supposed to get ready for a fight. So fights were filling through. So I mean, I've been in the gym for the past three months. Uh, fights falling through and stuff like that, so I'm I'm on I'm in shape, and uh, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to rock and roll. You're here. That mm -hmm. says a lot. That's half the battle. Your opponent's not here. Yeah. What is that? What is what kind of message does that send to you? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm not I'm not sure. Well, actually, here he is. He's coming in. No, come on in. Come on up. We were just talking about uh, you not being here, but you're here. No, don't don't apologize, man. You're here. Let's let's jump in. Uh, Saturday night. What can we expect? Uh, fireworks, like always. You know, I'm 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 100 ready. Can I take the mask off? No, yeah, keep the uh, mask on, please. Oh, uh, I'm 100 ready for the fight, man. You know, like I always do, man. Get your popcorn ready. You recently took a trip to Puerto Rico. You visited your idol. Trinidad, yeah. How was that? And uh, what does that for? What does that mean to you to be able to have that opportunity? Man, it's amazing. You know, as a fighter, you know, growing up, two years old, I was watching him fight, you know, and uh, finally I got the chance to meet him, man, and it was an amazing feeling, you know, um, being on the island with him. You know, I was in his hometown, where he's from, and they showed me tremendous love, man. You know, um, I got very emotional, as well as he did, you know, him talking about his life and uh, all the stuff that he went through, all his ups and downs with, with his father, you know, and then with that, my father being there, you know, he got very emotional, man, as well as me. Emotional, man, you know, um, man, I, I visited my idol. Your last fight was on the Loma Lopez card. Obviously, a lot of attention paid to that fight. Have things changed since then because it was such a high-profile moment for you in your career? Uh, yeah, you know, um, a lot, a lot of big people tuned in that night, you know, and I showed out like I always do. Um... I did, I did blow up after that, after that fight. You know, we almost had two million viewers, and um, a lot of big people recognized me, and we're here now. Now that he's sitting across from you, it's real, it's on, it feels real now. When you weren't here, it was a little awkward for me as well. I got to yeah. be honest, and we're starting a press conference, and you're late. Yeah. It's weird. You know, I've never had that happen. Yeah. But we're here now. You guys are sitting uh, beside each other. Uh -huh. You've had first-round knockouts in all of your fights. Can we expect that again Saturday night? 
Oh uh, no! Do you, th- do you not even think of that? Yeah, you know, I don't. I don't like to dwell on the first round stuff. You know, if it happens, it happens. If not, you know, then I'm more than ready to to go those extra rounds, man. You know, I prepare myself every for every camp to make sure I go 12 rounds. You know, and that's what we're here for. You know, it's it's for me. You know, we find an eight round, a ten round, a turn, but every every camp, man, I'm preparing for 12. Yourself. You're obviously ready to go past one, past two, past three, whatever it takes. What can we expect Saturday night? Like you said, fireworks. Tune in. I'm going to slay the monster. I, I love it. I love it. Gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to put your mics on your stools. We're going to head down to the X's there, please, for your first face-off of the weekend here inside the MGM bubble. Ulysses Sierra, Edgar Berlanga, Saturday, December 12th on ESPN+. Plus.